I'd like to know how you distinguish and identify the different kinds of things out in the cosmos that have an impact. There are many independent measurements that build to our particular worldview at some time. So, for example, when you talk about the age of things, um, the, the, the age of the Earth, the, the accurate measurements come from one thing is they come from um, ra radioactive dating, which is a very high precision technique to, to date rocks. And we can, so we can date the oldest rocks on the Earth, and we can date the oldest meteorites, and we can do things. And we, we always get for the oldest things around four billion years or so, and you can hone it into that. Then you can look at the sun and you can say, well, um, we can do something called helioseismology, which is really like looking at solar solar earthquakes, if you like solar quakes, and looking at the way the sun oscillates and rings. And you can measure, you can use that to measure the amount of helium as a cross section through the sun. So we know that the sun shines by making hydrogen into helium in its core, which would suggest that there should be more helium in its core. And we know how bright the sun is, we know how much energy comes out, so we know the rate of nuclear reactions that we need to produce that amount of energy. So we can look and see how much helium's there, and that tells us how old the sun is. And you get the answer, which is about 4.7 billion years or so.